I don't know if you've spoke to Bailey before today, start, but just kind of what's your reaction to him getting this opportunity to start game one? Yeah, I'm super excited for him. I did not get to talk to him because they let him know yesterday and he got in the zone right away. And as a fellow starter, I know like once someone's in that zone, the last thing I want to do is interfere with it. But extremely happy for Bailey. You know, he's got such a big, big, like heart of a competitor. His makeup is unbelievable. You know, like he's on the mound and you really don't know what the score could be because he's got the same, the same persona, the same the same attitude towards whatever's happening, whether it's good or not as good. So, I mean, he's shown all year, you know, he's had his own adversities with things out of his control, getting sent down, sometimes getting pushed back and all things like that. But whenever he got the opportunity, he like, he uh, cherished it, took advantage of it, and he gave the team a chance, you know, every single time. I remember when he had that great stretch of like seven, eight or nine quality starts in a row and like, he seems so confident and comfortable on the mound, and I think that's what he's going to bring today. You know, he's going to bring the Bailey over mentality to the mound, trying to do the best that he can to give the team a chance, and he's going to do it with poise, good makeup, and he's going to go on the attack. He attacks with what he has. He doesn't try to do anything else than that, and I think it's going to be a good game, and I'm happy that I'll be front row to see it. Yeah, Pablo. Uh, pretty much every player talked about how the the fans had a big had a big uh, impact on the games at Target Field. Is there anything besides putting zeros on the board that a starting pitcher can do to kind of reverse that for the crowd that'll be pretty active here? Uh, yeah, obviously the crowd always plays a big factor. Whether you're the home team or the visiting team, it's gonna be there. Like it's gonna be loud. It's gonna be exciting for them. And as a visiting team, you know, they're most of the time if they're being loud is because they maybe they don't want something good to happen to you, but like the way you embrace it, like you can turn it around and make it something positive for you. You know, like the place is getting loud because they want something to happen. It's an opportunity for myself to prevent something from happening. So it depends on the way you see it, the way you embrace it, how you look at it. Uh, but yeah, I feel like a lot of times I do feel the crowd a lot and like, when I'm walking to the mound or off the mound, you feel the excitement or the quietness. But once you're on the mound, really, uh, it's it's all about just executing pitches. Like, I mean, unless you can't hear the sign because it's the place is loud and you are aware of it. But like, uh, yeah, on the mound, it doesn't really become a huge factor. It's like the in-between pitches or in-between innings that you feel the energy, whether it's positive or negative. Does it change your, I guess, game plan or approach at all for tomorrow, knowing that you may have to face them again later in the series? Uh, I don't think so. You know, I haven't faced them since last year. And, like, obviously, I'm myself and the catcher and the pitching coach, we're going to try to come up with the best plan that we can for game two, which would be tomorrow, regardless of a possible game five. You know, like, if we have to bring all the options out tomorrow, that's what we're going to do, even if it's from the very first pitch, the very first inning. Like, we're going to try to, like, put the team in the best position to win a ball game. And if it comes down to facing them again, then that's when we might start looking to tweaking some things. Because, you know, like, these batters, these hitters, these teams are so good that that's when you really have to look back and maybe you have to change or mix some things up. But uh, going to, into tomorrow, like, that's the main focus. The main focus would be, would be tomorrow would be, uh, what's the best plan we can come up with and what's the best mentality or way to execute said plan. Go to Phil on the left. Pablo, you said in spring training that uh, you would not you would uh, like to learn Japanese, that uh, you were hoping <laughs> to make progress on that this summer. Someone told me that you have made this progress on that. Is that true? It's very little progress. <laughs> uh, obviously, I've never been in a team with such big Japanese presence, and they're all so kind. Like, and like, I want to get to know these guys, and I want to feel like I don't know. Like, I'm making an effort to like connect with them or whatever. And like every day, I'll just ask them for little phrases or words, and it's just a funny way to connect with them and make them feel like I don't know, like part of the team. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, along the lines of uh, Aaron's question. Does how you approach tomorrow, is it affected at all by what happens today, win or lose? Yeah, yeah. So a lot of times when you go into the series and you've pitched the first game, like you you have an idea based on past videos, reports, papers. But then when you pitch later in the series, you get 
all of these reports and videos, plus you get to see with your, you know, with your own eyes, like how they may, well, how they may approach some situations, at bats, counts. So I think knowing what I know based on the information that the team provides me with, and then plus getting to look, uh, watching the game today, like I'm gonna be paying a lot of attention to, like I have an idea of like what the paper says for each guy, and now it's gonna be like how Bailey goes about it, and then like see how they react, see how they try to make adjustments pitch to pitch, at bat after at bat. If you put them away with something, will they go to the plate looking for that pitch the next at bat? So um, yeah, I'll be trying to like really soak it all in and gather as much information as I can when I'm not pitching. Stay on the left, go. Have you seen Jeffers respond to the added responsibility and exposure of being the everyday guy come to playoffs now? Yeah, no, like he's all for it. Uh, he. He like, and I've said this before. He prepares like no other catcher I've seen when it comes to like all the information that he takes into the game. Like he takes all the information that he knows will be beneficial for you know the pitching staff. Like he he knows exactly what the best pitches or best spots to go to certain batters like is, and then like obviously then it becomes is. It's, it, it also becomes like, is the pitcher right now able to execute this pitch so we can go along with this plan? So he's also very good at identifying, like, yeah, this is where we want to go, but today, like, we don't have the field to go to this spot, but, like, I know this is the other place we can go based on what I'm seeing right now from my pitcher. So he does a great job. I think, like, he, uh, the responsibility he's been given right now with catching in the postseason, like, he welcomed it with open arms, and, like, he saw it as a great opportunity to. Uh, show what he's capable of, both from the defensive side and the offensive side. So I'm very happy for him. And I mean, he caught two games in the Walker series, only allowing one run. So that's pretty good. Anything else for Pablo? They're in the middle, in the back. Pablo, um, how would you feel about the idea that you're going to face from Roberto tomorrow? From where he's one of the aces? Uh, of the Astros, and you are the principal ace of Twins. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, when you when you're going against you know one of the top arms of another team, you know you have to be on your A game, because my goal is to put up zeros, make uh, put up quick innings for my offense to do, then go and give the team a chance to score runs. And he's gonna be on the same attack. He's gonna be on the same mentality. So I know that I have to be on my A game. I know that I have to be with the mindset of uh, like throwing my best pitches with conviction to get quick outs, quick innings, and I mean, we, we, we've all seen what Fran Valdez is capable of doing, you know, he can throw a lot of innings with uh, little pitches because he attacks, he's on the attack, he mixes his pitches, he can put guys away, so, um, you know, like it's like like it happens in the regular season when you're going against one of like the aces on the other teams, it's all about, you, you know, there might not be a lot of runs, so you your job is becomes extra trying to preventing runs and uh, making good pitches early, get uh, get ahead, stay ahead, and then try to have quick innings because that might be what's going to happen on the other side of it.